we are in the experiment mood again. I've always loved my cast iron pants and used them for everything. But Miss Ninja has a collection of non-stick pants and she loves them too. So we got into the argument of which material does a better job searing sticks. And of course, she declared her non-stick pants the winner from the beginning. But remember, the key word here is searing. We are not cooking all the way with the pans. We are just talking about the searing process and what can produce the best crust. So I accepted the challenge and today we are going to find out what produced the best searing. The old cast iron pans or the kitchen non-stick. For that, I asked Miss Ninja to give me the best of the best and she brought me her old trusty workhorse. These pans has been used almost daily for many, many years to the point that we don't even know what's the brand anymore. But she's very smart by selecting this pan for the test. All that cooking with this pan has seasoned it very well, and I remember myself complaining about any steak she has done with it. So, point to the non-stick. In the other corner, we have my trusty old cast iron skillet. This particular pan brand is Victoria, and it has been with me for at least 10 years, if I remember correctly. This is my workhorse, the winner of many battles, and of course, I trust it with my life. For the steaks, I have these two identical New York strips I got from my favorite store, Broward Meat and Fitch. These both are Black Angus steak, cut from the same sirloin, and said to make this meal epic. <laughs> The plan is really simple. I will cook both steaks in the grill until they reach 110 degrees internal temperature. After that, I will be cooking each steak in a different pan. I will be cooking them both as techniques might change from one person to another. And we want the results to be as fair as possible. But even before I set my grill on fire, it is time to season them steaks. Seasoning will be simple. In this case, I will add sea salt and coarse pepper to both in the same proportions. We argued about adding garlic powder, but we will be adding garlic and other spices at the end of the searing to both of them, so we believe that will be enough. And with the grill ready, it's time to add the steaks to it. I will position them away from the fire in what we call the cool zone. And I will be monitoring their internal temperature with a thermometer and pull as soon as they hit 110 degrees. The steaks are ready and pulled from the fire, so Let's get to the stove. Here we play a game of rock, paper, scissors to see what will be the first to the test. And Miss Ninja won, so we will go with the cast iron skillet first. Once the skillet is very hot, I will coat the bottom of the pan with avocado oil. Wait for it to heat up and add the steak. I will allow the steak to cook for about one minute and then flip it. Allow it to cook for one minute on the other side and right there I will turn the stove off. Add two spoons of butter, rosemary, thyme and three garlic cloves and as soon as the butter dissolves I will start basting my steaks with the spoon. Shooting the stove off will prevent the butter from burning, something that adds a nasty flavor to the steak. And will also allow the spices more time to release their oils into the pan. That also adds a beautiful flavor to the base. And after about 30 seconds basing, I will remove the steak from the pan and get the non-stick pan ready. Here we will continue with the same process. Heat up the pan and after it's ready hot, add the avocado oil. Wait for it to heat up and set the steak in the pan. One minute to flip, and now we can start comparing the crust. Here you can see the side-by-side -side difference of the crust produced by each pan. After a minute, I will shoot the stove off, add the butter and spices, and base it up. And 30 seconds after, remove the steak and let it rest for 10 minutes.
Okay, Miss Ninja, we have both of the steaks ready. I'm not gonna even tell you which one is which. Whatever. I want you to try first and tell me which you think is better, all right? Okay. Let me have the fork over there. Let's go for it. Let's go. All right, you want the cut a piece? Yes, please. We're gonna go number, uh, how is it for you? A and B, right? Yeah. A and number B, all right. Let's okay, go. let's go. Beautiful breeze, right? Oh, the, ah, the we're weather back. is changing. Everything is nice. I'm loving Florida right now. Yes, we are. Woo. Let's go for it. Let's go. Mm. Remember, we talk about only the, the crust. It tastes That's really what good. I was going to just say that. Mm -hmm. The crust, it's amazing on this one. Love it. The crust. It's real good, guys. No. Real good. All right, let's mm. go for number B. Number B. Ah, Miss Ninja, little piece for you. Big piece for me. Like always. You know what I want to do? I want to put some of those garlic. Me right too. Now. You just read my mind. Oh, I have a winner already. But I love the flavor in this one. We're only talking about the crust. Mm-hmm. All right, Miss mm -hmm. Ninja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Ninja. Which one is your winner? The first one was what number? Number A and number B. Number A. Number A is the winner for Miss Ninja, Woo! and number A is the winner for me too because it is delicious and it's made yeah, in the cast iron skillet. Ah! <laughs> I told you, Miss Ninja, you can't compete. You can't. I'm sorry. You cannot uh, hey. compete. That thing is delicious. It is. I'm gonna put a little piece of garlic on it and I'm gonna eat it. But before that, I have to ask you a question. But I'm mad. Did I make you hungry? <laughs> if I made you hungry, you have to hit us with the like. Lots and lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family. Yes, do and don't so. forget to share these videos on your social network ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. because that helps us a lot. Also, if you notice, YouTube is not letting anybody know that we have new videos and stuff. So please go down there and click that little bell. Subscribe to the channel. Do it, do it. And let me know down there in the comments, what do you think? What do you thought I was going to do? When you start the video, please stop it. Well, this is too late to say it. <laughs> please let me know what do you think. Let me know if you need another comparison. Just to make sure you guys have all the facts out there. And remember that. I love you. Mm, love you too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next, next one. one. Bye. Bye.